The revolution has begun. It's no secret that the dairy industry is in the middle of a transformation of revolutionary proportions. Computerized herd management, growth and performance additives, and the movement to herd sizes unimaginable just a generation ago. These factors and others combine to make this the most challenging yet potentially most rewarding time ever for the dairy industry. In this modern era, successful dairy producers must consider every option and utilize every resource available to stay competitive. That's why more and more people are turning to QLF, Quality Liquid Feeds, the leader in liquid feed supplements since 1977. Over that time, QLF has developed a full range of products to serve the dairy industry. When incorporated into a sound feeding program, QLF can help make your operation more efficient, more productive, and more profitable. QLF liquid feed is formulated at numerous state-of-the-art production facilities throughout North America. In our manufacturing process, we start with only the highest quality ingredients. We then carefully combine them to our strict specifications, ensuring that you get the most consistent liquid feed product available. After the supplements are manufactured, they are available through dealers and can be shipped directly to your farm. A poly tank is set and plumbed in a strategic location within your feeding system. This allows for an easy and convenient application within your feeding program. Consistent dry matter intake is one of the most vital aspects of milk production, herd health, reproduction, and profitability. Dairymen view sorting of TMR rations as a major detriment to maintaining those consistent levels of dry matter intake. Your TMR is only a total mixed ration when your cows consume the ration without sorting. The cows shown here are receiving a corn silage and hay-based TMR mix without liquid added. Notice how they make holes in the feed pile and nose, root, and lick the TMR ration. These cows are sorting out the ingredients they want. This footage was shot just prior to the addition of QLF liquid via a TMR. Now observe the same cows eating two weeks after the addition of QLF liquid. Notice how contently they're eating. They aren't throwing their heads or sorting through the ration. These cows are able to receive a complete ration without the negative impact sorting has on production. Another advantage of QLF liquid feed is how it coats and conditions the TMR ingredients. This helps make the TMR moist and holds the ingredients together. These two piles of TMR mix are identical, with the exception that the pile on the right has QLF liquid feed added. Notice how moist and rich the QLF pile looks compared to the pile without liquid. Using a shaker box enables us to examine the distribution of forage particles the cow actually consumes, as well as the distribution of feed ingredients. In this demonstration, we will compare three TMR rations. The first sample is a typical TMR mix that does not contain QLF liquid. The second sample is the exact same TMR with QLF liquid added. And the third sample is the same TMR with QLF taken out of the feed bunk eight hours after the cows were fed. The samples were then shaken out according to standard procedures. When we compare the sample without liquid and the sample with liquid, there is a very clear difference. The row with three piles closest to you is the TMR without liquid, and the second row is the TMR with liquid. The piles on the left in each row are the top screens, the middle piles in the rows are the middle screens, and the piles on the right are the bottom screens. Notice the top screen of the sample with QLF liquid added. There is more on the top screen, not because there are more long particles, but rather the QLF liquid holds the particles together. The smaller particles of the ration are not able to settle out as easily. As we continue with the comparison, we look at the sample with liquid taken eight hours after the cows were fed. Observe how similar the piles are to the piles with liquid in the middle row. Even after eight hours in the bunk, the ration maintains its consistency. QLF liquid feed reduces ration fines and separation, improving dry matter consumption. The addition of QLF liquid feeds helps cows stay on feed by reducing the effects of variable forages and ration adjustments. One way to get an excellent snapshot of how your cows are utilizing the ration is to do a manure inspection. Loose and hard manure in the same feeding group 
indicate the cows are picking through the feed and selecting their own ration. QLF liquid feed helps to hold the ration together to reduce ration sorting. For every cow to get the correct ration, it is critical that all nutrients be evenly distributed throughout the TMR. When dry ingredients, such as vitamins, trace minerals, yeast cultures, and other micro-ingredients are added to a TMR, it's difficult to get them mixed evenly because the relative amounts are so small. To help with distribution, these common additives can be added to QLF liquid feed. As the liquid is dispersed in the TMR, it carries the additives with it. A more homogeneous ration ensures better cow nutrition and performance. There are many different types of mixers and feedstuffs used to make a TMR, and using the correct sequencing for your ingredients is an essential part of nutrient distribution. As a general guideline, QLF liquids should be added as near the end of the TMR mix as possible. This helps to accomplish more uniform distribution of the liquid on the mix, and that helps reduce sorting and adds palatability to the TMR. Adequate mixing time is also extremely important to nutrient distribution. Consult your mixer manufacturer's recommendations for more information on ingredient sequencing and mixing times. Another advantage of feeding QLF liquid feed to lactating dairy cattle is that it can improve rumen function. QLF liquid feeds provide sugar from Louisiana cane molasses, a source of rapidly available carbohydrates, or as they are commonly referred to, rapid carbos. Rapid carbos are essential for the proper function of the rumen, as they provide a quick energy source to the microorganisms. When coupled with proper levels of soluble nitrogen, the results are enhanced microbial protein production, a stimulated appetite, and increased dry matter digestion. The dairyman must develop and feed a ration properly balanced to maximize bacterial growth and development. QLF does this by matching the nitrogen and carbohydrates to provide the microbes with a constant supply of nitrogen and sugars. As a nutritionist, I feel that uh, the, one of the biggest issues that we face is sorting. Um, and if we can uh, stop the sorting, get the long stem effect of fiber into these cows, we can uh, take care of a lot of the rumen upsets, uh, getting the energy density in these cows so that they produce uh, milk can do it effectively and efficiently. In this chart, it can be observed that sugar increases the rate of NDF digestion, while starch reduces the rate. This increased rate of digestion, along with increased palatability and ration density, allow the cow to consume more dry matter. When working at optimum efficiency, a rumen produces more microbial protein, allows for better fiber digestion, increases dry matter intake, and promotes more efficient feed utilization. These factors are essential in increasing milk production and efficiency, as well as cow condition and profitability. With the wider use of component pricing, a healthy rumen is instrumental in achieving better fat and milk protein test results. I'm Larry Carver, Dairy Nutritionist for Quality Liquid Feeds. Getting more nutrients into the lactating dairy cow is a challenge. One reason is the rumen of the cow has a fixed volume. Therefore, feeding a more nutrient-dense TMR would allow the cow to consume more nutrients into this volume. In this demonstration, I will use this jar to simulate the cow's rumen filled with a typical TMR mix. Here we have a pound and a half of corn and a pound and a half of QLF liquid supplement. Notice that the liquid supplement takes up less volume than the grain. We want to increase the nutrient density of the TMR by adding more corn. Notice that the grain will not go into this fixed volume. However, if we take the same weight and volume of the TMR mix and add the QLF liquid supplement, Notice how the supplement coats and absorbs into the dry feed particles. Adding a QLF liquid supplement to the TMR mix increases the nutrient density of the TMR. Feeding fat for increased energy density in TMRs is a common practice in high producing dairy herds. QLF energizer products based on Louisiana cane molasses 
allows for the addition of fat without the negative effects on fiber digestion, and provides for more uniform distribution of fat in the TMR. In this demonstration, I will use a stick to simulate the forage fiber. Notice how a typical fat source coats the forage fiber. This characteristic of fat adversely affects fiber digestibility and uniform distribution of fat in the TMR. Compare this to a QLF Energizer product with added fat. Notice how uniformly the liquid coats the stick. A TMR can only be a TMR when all ingredients are uniformly distributed. QLF Energizer products are an ideal addition for the producer that needs to add a palatable source of fat without the negative effects on fiber digestion and intake. As we've seen in this program, the production, distribution, and consumption of a more uniform TMR is key to keeping cows on feed. QLF liquid feed helps reduce sorting and allows for a quicker adjustment to variable forages. QLF liquid feed helps keep dry matter intake consistent and enhances digestibility by optimizing rumen function. With a more nutrient-dense ration, digestibility is crucial and QLF liquid feed provides rapid carbos to help stimulate the production of rumen microorganisms. This boost enhances forage digestibility and feed utilization. Using QLF liquid feed adds up to a more efficient and healthy herd, keeping cows in better shape, breeding back quicker, and putting more milk into your bulk tank, all of which adds to your bottom line. And every dollar added to the bottom line brings you another step closer to building a thriving, successful dairy enterprise for the 21st century. Yeah. That's not the first pound of milk that makes money, it's that last pound of milk that makes money when we get it out of the, you know, at the end of the day. And then either we use the best or the second best, so we thought we'd pick out the best. Remember, the revolution has begun, and there's no turning back. With QLF Quality Liquid Feeds,